Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. I wanted to get on here and share some thoughts that I've been running through my mind. You know it's funny as life goes on and the things that we see and the people that we encounter, the newsreels that roll and episodes and events that take place in our everyday lives, thoughts build. And sometimes we find a value in our thoughts that we deem worth sharing. That's what I'm doing here today, is sharing my thoughts, my way, with people that I sincerely love. And that's the people of the world. Somewhere along the way, we need to become convicted to either good or bad, the darkness or the light, the real and the illusion of a reality that does not fit with our hearts. A script that long ago was written for purpose to control people worldwide. Barriers were laid to block our togetherness wherein we would have the unity that most surely would bring forth the absolute truth if they did not block us. Truth that we have been duped from the beginning. We certainly have. The first man that said to himself, I want to own the world. I want to control all of the world. The pen then scripted for our design a false reality that would in time bring to fruition the control that one man craved and others joined into purely for greed, lust, and hatred, nothing more. We can all see and hear the news waves burning with injustice, crimes, and corruption, wars, and yes, plagues, liars as heroes and truthers as criminals, them, the terrorist, and common people titled as such, a system far out of balance and way out of control. Waves, so many waves in life, like the great oceans, rivers, creeks, streams, even the ditchways or canals that stretch across our Mother Earth. Our lives, too, are affected by waves. Some refer to these waves as living on a roller coaster. Days seem so often to change from good to great or great to bad as events change the perspectives of our now. There is no avoiding the waves. It would be wise that we be like great surfers, riding the mother of waves and coming off the board with a smile and a big yahoo. Though, that is not always easy. The trick, I think, is to stay on the board. We do know that, to ride it out, to not fall off. Many people in our political arena are running around on a tank showing empty where integrity should be filling the tank to the brim. This is creating horrible waves in our lives. Rather than to call it the perfect storm, we certainly see this as the worst storm ever to date. Or is it? Really? I mean, what does it matter if the people or person in control allows one agency to rate people of their hard-earned money? 
giving back to the people nothing in return. Or to kill Americans serving under the supervision of those they trust, working under the guise that they are not disposable, only to end up dead in a foreign country with their death blamed on some C-rated video. Or how about the misuse of power where one person can sign their name to any number of orders by executive position, which take away not just the rights of every person, but also the entire foundation on which a country was built. How about those that dare not speak the truth? though they, by training and career choice, are duty-bound to tell the truth, to be the middle voice where facts can be shared to protect the people and the country from corruption within. You know who I speak of, the reporters who all too often put their own lives on the line for the truth, only to find the truth is a secret, never to be told. They are given strips or scripts and told to follow or face sure career persecution or even worse. Among many other cloaked hidden and disguised crimes that take place daily in the upper ranking. Integrity depleted forces we place into offices of control. Why should this upset us? What nerve have we to complain or squawk about the misuse of the very power we the people allow them. Yet given the growth in numbers of the scandals and ever-growing deceptions swimming like sharks around us ready to bite at the bottom of the surfboard surely ending any stability the very balance needed to live comfortably. So many people fear or refuse to object, willing, I guess, to try and float belly upward against the waves to the safety of shore, hoping all the way that the shark does not spot them does not see them, that they not be put on some dark list, that somehow, if they do not fight back, they will be excluded from the storm's aftermath, living in a false sense of well-being, blind to the fact that what hurts one person will indeed hurt all people. The worst storm imaginable is on the horizon. We see it coming in the distance, not far away. We see the numbers tallying as the dollar drops and the economy plummets. Prices raise and homes are taken, jobs disappear some traveling offshore to avoid the ever-growing dissatisfaction with business at home. The liars on public stages in our faces, prancing around and receiving bonuses for wrongdoings and promotions too. The man handling chokeholds 
and tasering of the innocent until proven guilty by power o overloaded public peace officers with no honor, no conscience, no love of humanity in their belts, and a military that for whatever reason appears to have gone rogue against the very people they swear to protect, awaiting the orders from the one, the one, to kill any and all in their path, because he has the power. Yeah, why should anyone object to this? Because it's all wrong, that's why. The system is broken, my friends and family. It does not serve the people. It serves an evil demon entity started by one man that was full of greed and lust and hatred, wanting to own the world. A, devil, a demon entity that wants for more and more. So where does this leave the simple, caring person such as you and I? How is it that we can make a stand to change the storm before it hits? What plan can there be that will prevent the aftermath that will be the aftermaths of all? aftermaths, far exceeding anything that took place in the history of this one great country, this beautiful world, our Mother Earth. We must decide. We must decide one of three things as far as I can see. Number one, we could crawl under our beds and cover our heads. When the storm gets louder and the waves grow and the shark begins to chew on our world, in false hope of being safe, explaining later, when your freedom is nil or gone, never to be again, that we just couldn't do anything because we were afraid. Secondly, we could stand at a window and watch while the man-made storm, the waves growing high and the sharks snapping at the flesh of our lives, make way through the land, then explain later why we saw it and why we watched in silence but chose to do nothing. At that point, we cannot whine about our freedoms lost, for through lack of action, we most certainly gave up our right to whine. Thirdly, we could march bravely against the storm, the sharks, the waves pushing forward, forcing them to change, refusing to budge arm in arm, hand in hand, in mass numbers, my friends, mass numbers, right up in the face of those who mean us no good. Tell them that we will not allow corruption anymore. Enough is enough. We could stand tall in unity with many, many others who know the value of freedom and watch the number and the power in the numbers. We could claim our right to freedom, to well-being, to comfort, to truth, and to voice with the freedom of speech. We could sign our declaration with all the brave who stood with us, lay it next to the Constitution, that we and all like minds 
did in fact save in the presence of the universal God Almighty and all people of the world that we saved. We can march in peace with the veil of goodness and sincerity utilizing the very integrity that those in power do not have, not lowering ourselves to their level, but rather displaying integrity, something few of them understand. As for the military and the peace officers, I say this, use your own conscience for crying out loud, do not be the puppets for a dark show of force against the very people you are the heroes for. The brave and honorable chosen to serve and protect. Be the change that works for all people. Be peace. That's who you're supposed to be. Do not be deceived and led like little sheep. My idea is to build a march to our capitol buildings in every state across America. Our weapons will be brooms, mops, dustpans, pledge and dusting cloths, aprons, and yes, signs reading, enough is enough. Time to clean house. So friends and family, if you agree, help me to help us to help each other march in peace with the power of integrity, peaceful and earnestly. Can this be done? Personally, I think it can. Would it make a difference? Should each state secede? We need to clean house. We need to start at the Capitol buildings. We need to let our local governments know that we, the people, do object. I thank you for your time, and if you agree, thumbs up, please. If you have an idea that's better serving to the people, please let me know in comments. We can do this, but we have to understand what unity is, togetherness, oneness, and we have to agree that it needs to be done with integrity in a peaceful way. I love you all. Great big hugs. And I'll catch you guys later.